Welcome, generals. My name's Dark Reva, and as I promised, I'm back with some more Hearts of Iron 3. This time, without the Black Ice mod, I think it, um... Well, the game we were playing as Italy was getting... was stalling quite a bit, and partly due to the way I kind of bungled half of it, and also the complication of Black Ice and not fully understanding it yet didn't help. And just the fact... Italy is not the easiest nation to play in this game, but we're going to try it again anyway. So, Road to War, we're going to play as Italy, and we're a fascist republic at war. I'm going to go to hard, not on very hard, just on hard, and we're going to play normal, not arcade. Arcade mode is like, you don't have to worry about the supply lines at all, and it just magically teleports all around your empire, even if it's all the way to South Africa, for instance, so that we're not going to do. So um, my goals are roughly the same, be idly, be big, be grand and everything, so yeah, let's get into it. But yeah, um, need to focus a lot more on my navy this time around, let's face it, that was the biggest disaster. But then again, um, let's actually look with the nation gets. We get a lot of IC wasted, apparently. We need a lot of upgrades. Holy crap. If we prioritize upgrades, we get... Still have production left over. We have a lot to upgrade, apparently. Mostly infantry, I assume. See, this is a lot weaker than what we had before in... in in uh, Black Ice, these divisions were a lot beefier. Yeah, lots of regular infantry. We have some Alpine mountain divisions. We're gonna want more Alpini. Oh, these are my special units. Of course, we get them too. So we have a lot of very, very weak... Wow, no, 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 no. Everything's on no, even though we're at level 3. Yeah, that upgrade. Um, I do want to push a lot into upgrades. We're going to start with everything on espionage as to begin to get some spies out there. Uh, let's see, where do we have a lot of spies? Ethiopia? Hmm. I want to look at my neighbors. And I want my own nation to be at high priority and then Yugoslavia. Then France and the United Kingdom. I'm going to try to tech espionage again on the UK. See if it actually works outside of Black Ice as well. I hope it does. So we're going to be focusing a little bit on the uh, espionage as well. We can do if, uh, some laws. And I think um, specialist training is pretty decent regardless. We don't have a lot of the strategic modifiers this time around. Um, lots of espionage bonus on neutrality though. Um, Danzig control. We could control Danzig and get some stuff. Oh god, really? All of the below? Wow. We would need to have a lot. So either we need to have all of the below, which is... Uh, Jesus. No member of faction, yeah. Huh. But it does give us a lot, that supply bonus. Suez Canal, Gibraltar, Turkish Strait... Um, some interesting things, definitely. Now, our army is obviously not that strong. We do have a quite decent cavalry. Uh, this is the cavalry army that you also start with in uh, Black Ice. Yeah, with motorized and lots of cavalry. Yeah, the Armata Celere. So, when it comes to that, it's reasonably... Mm, historical. But yeah, most of them are just... Really bad infantry groups. Seriously, what the hell is going on? Collapse, expand all. So, well, one, two, three, four. Jesus, we have a lot of weak divisions, so we're going to be adding a lot of strength here. They Actually, this one has an armored car as well. Yeah. Well, most of our strong, quotation mark army would have to be in Ethiopia, because, let's face it, we are at war with Ethiopia. So if I don't use the HQs, we should all just go to Makalele, Makale, when I said more, I don't know. 
Hugo de Gondar, and except for the HQs who are staying behind, you're going to Asmara. How big is the groups we have here? Some militias, some more militia. Let's get to Dolo. That's about it, actually. Huh. Yeah, we do want to take the area here, of course. Um, after the war is over, I'm going to be reorganizing the entire frickin' army because it's a mess. Um, so let's see, we have... You're not even attached to a core. Why are you not attached to an actual core? Um, I think the one in San Remo would be the best one. A strategic redeployment there. Yeah. So we have three, and that's an Alpine division. The Alpine HQ, you only have one. Um, so you're attached to the wrong core. I do want the Alpine divisions to be actually attached to my Alpine core as well. Here, another one. And you're actually attached to the army as well, Jesus. Now the Alpine Corps is actually shaping up. I'm, I'm lacking my third division. Where is my third Alpine division? It's like right there. Wow. Ah, I hope. Yeah, the whole division structure seems to be going away in uh, in uh, four in Hearts of Iron Four, which is a shame, really, because it's. One of the things that draws me to the game, for sure. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, seven, eight, nine, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, that's the first thing we're gonna build. Brigade attachment, artillery. Um, I want you to build as reserves. Parallel, build seven of these twice first thing we're going to build is attachments to all of these divisions so we're also going to attach the same with an amount it's uh, infantry as well so we get three one divisions that was infantry right yes and we have four mountain divisions so i'm going to build um this as well at least four more mountain brigades to be attached cost some stuff in production but that's fine um how is our ship technology so our uh, mil military well our infantry stuff is okay i'm gonna have to research the infantry brigade wow armor is we actually have light tanks though so that's okay escorts the 36 level yeah then i'm gonna wait with actually building most of the ships until we get somewhere but what we can do is build some uh, bare bones battle cruisers for the practical um, battle cruiser. Let's give them no armament, no nothing. 15 months. It's just a bare bones model. So we get some practical going next year. Let's face it, this, um, this cruiser is actually going to finish day one as well. So I'm also going to do that with a cruiser without anything on it that's one and a destroyer two this is purely for the practical to get that going and once the upgrades are done which will take a little most of this year then uh, yeah um yeah upgrades i'm um, it was said that upgrades are more efficient if you do it later in the in if you upgrade everything later but i don't think that's the whole thing that's actually correct i'm just going to collect my entire navy and bring it to one port so i can rearrange it next episode might as well do that in the regio di calabria so everyone rebase there we do have two cruisers down here, but that's actually everything. So this one is not moving because I completely missed them. 
And to be fair, that's on Sardinia, so. Now, we have some aircraft, so we are going to do um, in a circle. Seriously, you can't reach there? Okay, fine. In this area, just ground attack for three months. That should be fine. Um, yes, yes, yes. So, we're getting spies first, which is done. Uh, we need to... I'm not going to go with the automated automating of trade this time around so we need to find say the Soviet Union offer trade agreement would you like to buy a bunch of supplies they would like to buy up to about 20 supplies every day come on no that's one too many damn it Eight, yeah, we need to give them the okay. They're, it's a very likely they'll accept. How about the US of A? Offer trade agreements, the same thing. Uh, one more, there we go, accept. That way, we're gonna start making some money if they accept. And we're going to need the money. And they both accepted. Good. And we're going to need the money to actually get other resources. Because we are low. We do produce quite a bit of um, rare materials and metal. And energy is okay. But the oil. We're going to need to have a huge stack. Well, we need to have at least 20k fuel before we actually go to war. All the ships are arriving. Uh, we would give them four rare materials. For now, I'm happy with that. It's more money that I then can spend on other things. Uh, we'd give them money in exchange for energy. I like that. Yes, our ships are all arriving in the Regio di Calabria. Just going to leave them there this episode and do the rearranging next one. This one is mostly the setup for the nation. And actually, except for that one particular aircraft, we're going to get uh, all the aircraft that we further have to Roma. So we can redivide our aircrafts as well. Second Squadra is there. Uh, here's another one. Wrong place. There we go. Roma. Roma up here. This cost me some fuel, definitely. All this rearrangement, but in the end, it will be very much worth it. Um, you're already there. You are here, then. Okay, that should be everyone soon enough. So everyone will be in Rome of the aircraft, and there the mouse goes tits up. I hate when it does that. It's mostly just usually only happens in this game. Seriously, it's just gonna drop you in the regular decalibre. Really, I just told you to go here. There we go, Eugenio di Savoia. Um, decline. Yeah, now that we're, our factories are working, we're actually losing metal and a hell of a lot of energy. Hang on. I know that Germany usually has a surplus of a lot of uh, energy, so let's buy a lot of energy from them. Rare materials is still fine. We're also going to need some metal, and I think we can take some of that from... No, wow. And we cannot trade with these guys yet. Belgium actually has a lot of metal. So does Sweden. I would like to buy your metal, sir. And they only sell you up until the point where they actually have uh, the supplies and, well, the production, the surplus every day. Except for supplies, if they need supplies, they will only buy up to 20 a day. That's been changed in a patch. I know in the beginning when I played this game, you could just sell maximum amounts 
whatever happens. So still, okay, that was all the fleets. So they're now all here. And now we're going to combine them into a fleet of 58 ships. So we start off with 60 ships, which is not bad. And we have 12 aircraft. So what would we need for the Grand Fleet? We would need 100 ships. So that's something I would not mind getting at all. The Great Army is unlikely to happen, but getting to 100 ships when starting with 60 is possible. And we'll want a lot of ships too, because we will want to dominate the Mediterranean heavily. Anyway, so... How is our upgrades? We still need 46 to upgrade stuff. Which is a ridiculous amount. But it's going pretty quick. We're four days in. It's going at 2.2 .2 every day. So, um, Money for fuel. Now this is the thing. We pay about... We pay 4.77. Um, no. 4.77 for about, say, 5 for 10-ish. Uh, if we look at oil, so we cannot do it with them right now. We could, no, Bolivia. See, Venezuela is pretty much... So we could, if we were to buy 10 fuel from Venezuela, it would cost us almost 5 money. If we buy 10 oil from them, it would cost us a little bit more, actually. Oh, um, not you. It would cost us about the same amount, just a little bit less. The thing is, um, your conversion rate will actually convert more fuel into, f uh, more oil into fuel. So it's actually still more beneficial to get fuel. And we're going to... We offer Venezuela to sell 10 crude oil per day for that amount of money. Sure, Venezuela, bring it in. They've accepted. So we have some actual fuel incoming. The plus 4.55 from converted here in oil is simply energy that we're making into uh, fuel. Macale, okay. Let's go to the diplomatic map mode. You are going to continue on. Oh, wow. We have another Alpine division. Yeah, they're definitely going to come back to uh, home as soon as possible. Um, Austria wants stuff, which would mean that we would be giving it to Germany in the long run. Except if they use it to build stuff, which would be a little bit silly. So, what else are we... Well, yeah. Things that are useless to build for us. Uh, industry, because we are not big enough, we would not get a big enough advantage out of actually first building industry. Oh wow, the hard difficulty is actually turning that down by 10%, the IC. That's sad. It's, well, it's not sad, sad, but... Okay, so spies, we're doing fine. How many spies are we gaining every day, actually, from tech now? 2.44. So we've almost filled up our own nation. Um, Counter espionage. Definitely want to raise national unity too. Trade offer from Germany. We'd give them rare materials in exchange for money. With Germany, yes. Germany is going to be my future ally. And I'd like them to have the stuff. Also, we're going to need to buy more uh, energy from probably Germany again. Germany is coal coming out of their butts. So. Mm -hmm. Wow, Mikale is doing well. Let's face it, we only have to take Addis Ababa, so that's where we're going. We lost the province of Raqqa, Litoria. But we can now go to Imi. So that's a good start. And you, whenever you're ready, you're going to go that way. Um, yeah, close to the end of this episode, then I can fix my mouse as well. It's it's annoying though that I have to fix my mouse because that means I need to save the game and then reload, and that usually messes up things. 
reloading Hearts of Iron saves is not something I like to do. That's why I have... Oh, wow, we actually need some diplomatic stuff. Um, if we lock you and then go up... There we go. That's better. Yeah, it usually messes the save up and it's it's annoying, that's for sure. Uh, we've won the Battle of Tandaho. Lovely. And we are out of supplies down here. That's going to be the problem here, isn't it? The supply... Yeah, anyway, I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. And expect two more episodes to come out today. That's for sure. Also, before we go, I want more of your energy. And I'll uh, see you guys later.